Welcome back to Mason Talks. So today, I want to talk about Baker Mayfield. Because it's been a pretty rough week for Baker. On Sunday, he got demolished by the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. He obviously was sacked multiple times. He had two interceptions, including a pick six to Minka Fitzpatrick. And ever since that loss to Pittsburgh... There have been pundits from across the National Football League universe calling for the Cleveland Browns to pull the plug on Baker Mayfield. Now, I think it's a pretty interesting question to consider. Will the Cleveland Browns be moving on from Baker Mayfield in the near future? Because if you look at his performances over the past year and a half, there are clear reasons that you can point to that would suggest, hey, Baker Mayfield probably is not the franchise quarterback of this team. But I think for us to get a full and accurate answer to the question, will the Cleveland Browns be moving on from Baker Mayfield, we need to take it back to this previous offseason. In the Cleveland Browns offseason of 2020, they fired Freddie Kitchens after only one season on the job. They fired John Dorsey. And they brought in Andrew Berry to be the new general manager and Kevin Stefanski to be the new head coach of the team. That was a pretty serious overhaul for Jimmy Haslam and his Cleveland Browns. You fire completely the previous regime. And you bring in a brand new, younger, more analytically focused regime led by Barry and Stefanski. Now, there were a lot of reasons as to why this change occurred. But one of the main ones, one of the central reasons as to why Kitchens and Dorsey are gone and Stefanski and Barry are in, is because of the Baker Mayfield regression of 2019. The great Baker regression where he went from Offensive Rookie of the Year candidate in 2018 to one of the worst quarterbacks in the league in 2019. The Browns changed their entire staff in hopes of re, 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 resuscitating the career of Baker Mayfield. Now, through the first six games of this season, things haven't necessarily looked great. I mean... Listen, I am not going to deny that Baker Mayfield is towards the bottom of the league in a lot of stats. His passer rating's not great. His completion percentage is not great. He has six interceptions so far on the year. We knew that interceptions were probably going to be a problem. Baker Mayfield has definitely had some good moments, but he's also had a lot of bad moments. And of course bringing in an $18 million backup quarterback in Case Keenum has a lot of people wondering if the Browns were expecting a change to be made. Now, the main thing I think we need to consider is the fact that the Cleveland Browns were willing to make such massive overhauls this past offseason. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say they did that mainly in hopes of Again, resuscitating the career of Baker Mayfield. So six games in, as we noted just a moment ago, and things don't look great. But I think that the Cleveland Browns are probably going to look at this and say, hey, it's way too soon to pull the plug on Baker Mayfield. Especially with your team sitting at 4-2. and two, Still having a pretty good chance to make the AFC playoffs. When I consider Baker Mayfield, and when I consider what the Cleveland Browns probably are planning to do, I think that Baker Mayfield not only is going to get the rest of this season to start as long as he's healthy, but I also think that we are going to see Baker Mayfield at least through the first half of the 2021 NFL season. The Cleveland Browns changed their their entire offensive they they changed their entire offensive staff they brought in obviously pretty much everybody 
uh, an entire new set of coaches being Stefanski, Van Pelt, Joe Woods. They brought in a whole new front office led by Andrew Barry. They did all that in hopes of reviving Baker's career. They are not going to call it quits after half of a season. One of the big issues throughout Baker's career so far has been the constant change of coaches. We've all heard about it. Hugh Jackson, Greg Williams, Freddie Kitchens, now Kevin Stefanski. If you are going to change your coach once again in hopes of giving Baker Mayfield a good position to thrive in, then why on earth would you give up on him after half a year? I mean, I've seen Browns fans on Twitter calling for Matt Ryan, a Matt Ryan trade. With your team sitting at 4-2 and two and the easiest remaining schedule in the National Football League. The Cleveland Browns brought Kevin Stefanski in to give Baker Mayfield a chance to revive his career. My guess is, my best guess, is that they are still going to give Baker Mayfield that chance. And I think that that chance is not only going to be the rest of this season, but probably into next season as well. So are the Cleveland Browns going to give up on Baker Mayfield? I'm not a professional, but in my honest opinion, I'm going to guess no. I think that we are just seeing the beginning of Baker Mayfield's time under Freddie Kitchens. And honestly, I do think it is going to get better. Because quite frankly, it can't get much worse than what it's been so far. Let me know in the comments how much longer do you think Baker Mayfield will be the quarterback of the Cleveland Browns? Do you think they're going to give him the rest of this season into next season? Do you think he's going to be the franchise quarterback, which I still think he could be? Or do you think the Browns are going to pull a surprise on everybody and pull the plug on Baker Mayfield soon? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. I'll see you in my next episode. Goodbye.